Yo, what up fam? Coach Gamble's back, man. Another installment of our memory verse. This verse this week is St. John chapter 8, verses 31 and 32. It's for all of my classes, so if you're watching this verse, yes, yes, this is your verse if you're watching this video. Let me read it for you from the New King James Version. Then Jesus said to those Jews who believed him, If you abide in my word, you are my disciples indeed. And if you, if, and sorry, and you shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. Hmm. So Jesus is talking to a set of people who believed on him, believed in who he was. And he says to them, if you abide in me, or if you believe in me, if you're living in me, you, that makes you my disciples. And if you know the truth, that truth will make you free. What he's trying to say to them is, listen, if you believe in me, you got to also believe in my word. And that is what makes you my disciples. Remember that a disciple is a disciplined follower of Jesus. And one of the things that I try to tell um, the church nowadays, is one of our assignments is that we've got to teach people Christian living and what it means to be a Christian, right? And, and here Jesus is saying, I want disciples, not just people who love me with their mouths because that's a big difference. People who serve me from their hearts, but people who just say, well, I believe in him because I can go to heaven. That's two different things. He said, what will make you a disciple is that you abide, that you live your life in a way that's pleasing to me, you know, based on my word, the Bible. Um, and a disciple is what he wants all of us to be, a disciplined follower of Christ. So we live in a day and age where a lot of people think that it's just okay to do whatever you want to do. No, Jesus says, the truth will make you free. Um, look at what he says here in verse 33. They answered him, we are Abraham's descendants and have never been in bondage, bondage to anyone. Bondage being slavery. How can you say we'll be made free? Watch this. Jesus said, most assuredly I say to you, whoever commits sin is a slave to sin. And a slave does not abide in the house forever, but a son abides forever. He's saying those of us who are walking in sin and we're doing things contrary to what God says, you are a slave to that sin. And he does not want us to be a slave to sin. Jesus did not endure the cross for us to be slaves to sin. Right? Even though we may make some mistakes and we may sin from time to time, we should not consistently go against what he has asked us to do just because of grace, just because he's rich in grace. So he's saying, I want you to be free. I want you to be my disciples who are free from the bondage of sin. I don't want you slaves to sin. I don't want you to be stuck in anything or feel like you have to have anything. I want you to be a disciplined follower of me, a real disciple. So what makes you a real disciple? That you abide or that you live your life in his word, according to his word, his way, his will. We'll talk a little bit more about this tomorrow. Look forward to seeing you. We love you. Don't forget, memorize the verse so you can quote it. You can explain the verse. And tell me how you apply this verse to your life. Talk to you soon.